First and foremost, congratulations, repeat champion for Haley Herberg of Capistrano Valley. Um, if you could, just sort of take us through the race. Um, obviously, in this type of race, when you're running against other elite runners, you want to get out fast and you want to get your game plan going early. Was that pretty much what you said and were able to execute here today? Yeah, I knew I definitely didn't want to lose touch with whoever was leading, and um, I didn't necessarily want to lead the whole time just because that takes a lot of mental energy, but um, I ended up kind of sharing the, I guess, the energy of leading. Like, I kind of shared it with a couple different girls. Like, we kind of were in a pack and taking turns leading, so um, that helped. And um, and then, like, I think we went through two, two miles, like, around, like, 12 minutes, which is, like, maybe a little, like, not as fast as I was expecting. So then I thought, okay, it's time to pick it up, and then just gave it all I had the last mile. Now, in that last mile, you and Sarah Leonard, were, she was kind of right on your heels there for a little bit. Could you kind of sense her right there? And were you kind of telling yourself, okay, I need to kind of pull away a little bit there? Yes, yes. I was, um, I mean, she's a tough competitor, and um, I knew she was there the whole time, and I heard people cheering for her, so I knew she was right there. So um, I just knew I just had to trust my kick and give it all I got in the end, and um, yeah. We talk a lot about how these races are stepping stones in order to get ready for the bigger races that are to come. For this point in the season, where are you in terms of how you feel about your confidence level and your execution of the game plan? Yeah, I definitely feel like it was a confidence boost um, just to get out here and get another win. And um, I, I mean, OC Champs is pretty important to me, so I was really happy that it went well. And um, yeah, just coming out here another week and not feeling like I have dead legs. This is a time of the season where a lot of people battle dead legs and stuff. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely a confidence boost, and it's just I'm just going to get back and get back to training and keep looking forward. I was about to say, this is sort of, like you said, the, the midway point, and now everything starts to gear toward league and towards CIF and things like that. Um, how will you kind of prepare for those based off what you've done so far this year? Um, do you kind of ramp up workouts? Do you kind of taper back a little bit? What will you do to prepare yourself for those battles to come? I think um, we're, we're going to start tapering off a little bit. Not too much, though, um, since it's still, like, still a while until like state meet and that's when we're really trying to peak so I think we start tapering off a little bit more for CIF but for now just I'm just going to keep doing my hard workouts my tempos and um, just yeah keep grinding I guess. You talked about uh, this meet being important you are now the sixth girl in Orange County Championships history to win back-to-back -back titles um, and some of the names of very very prominent um, how does it feel to be in that select group of runners there? Um, it, I, I feel really lucky to just have, um, have my amazing coach and team supporting me and um, yeah, I, I'm really happy and um, yeah, it's kind of, kind of hard to imagine. <laughs> I guess. All right, congratulations on an excellent race. Thank you.